Greetings from Fink Viner Park here on the Northwest Nazarene University campus. I'm Mike Stetson, Sports Information Director. I want to thank you for joining us for another edition of the Crusader Coaches Corner Show. I'm out here at the park as it'll be a big week here at the Fink Viner Field where the women's soccer team will be taking on Montana State Billings on Thursday in a crucial GNAC matchup. Four o'clock is kickoff, so come on out here and support the Crusaders. Then on Saturday, Simon Fraser is in town in another big game. One o'clock kickoff time as the Crusaders look to gain ground in the GNAC playoff race. And then across campus at the Johnson Sports Center, for the second time this season, the Crusader women's volleyball team will be in action. They host number eight ranked Alaska Anchorage Thursday night at seven o'clock, a unique double header for the Crusaders as women's soccer plays at four and the women's volleyball team at seven. Come out and support the Crusaders as they take on some of the best in the GNAC looking to make a push for the playoffs. Welcome to this week's Crusader Coaches Show. Today we're joined by head women's soccer coach Mary Trigg once again, and we're back out here where you guys finally get a nice home stand uh, out at Finkleiner Park. Want to remind fans, ladies will be in action Thursday, Saturday, and then again next Saturday on their home field where they are 2 1 and 1 this season, playing really well at home. So come out and visit the ladies and cheer them on to victory. Start off with uh, how excited are you? Three game homestand and yeah. a chance to make a big move in the GNAC. We're ready for it. Um, we've been, you know, long road trip this last weekend, so being able to be home is, is good. We play we play great at home and we have good fans, so our girls are excited to be in their own beds and, um, and get ready for this weekend. Montana State Billings coming in the first game, a team that uh, you played pretty well up there, one goal game until the late moments. Uh, mm -hmm. How excited are you since that's a team you're chasing for playoff spot exactly. to get them here? Yeah, we're making it clear to our girls that this weekend is a push weekend for us. Um, every We've said it before, but every team in our conference is a, is a fight. And at the same time, we can play with every team in our conference. We can compete and beat any team in our conference, but um, any team in our conference can beat us too. So it's, it's a, um, a push weekend where we've really got to be focused and be consistent. Um, that's been our biggest problem. It's we'll have great games and then not so good of games. So we've got to be consistent this weekend and um, and realize what we're playing for. You mentioned any team can beat any team. I don't think that uh, is more perfect explained than your one conference win is against a top 25 <laughs> team. Uh, so how much maybe frustration or motivation is that to know that you really can play with anybody yeah. and the playoffs are definitely within reach. It's really motivating to see the level that our girls uh, can compete at, um, and not just to hold, hold their own, but um, really go after it and, and dictate some of these games. Um, some things haven't gone our ways, and we've got to be able to put enough goals in the back of the net to not let um, outside factors um, come into play. And so um, our girls are, are hungry and motivated because they know we've been right there playing really well in every game. And now, um, can we put a complete game together where we're not relying on anybody else but us finishing everything that we've really done? Uh, talk a little bit about this past week. Uh, I'm not the most successful road trip, but what happened, uh, especially in the second half, that turned the games? Um, well, giving up PKs doesn't help. <laughs> um, so we had two PK calls against us um, this weekend. And um, that's a, a hard mental game um, when you're you know, both games were tied when we got PK calls, and uh, it's something we're gonna, we've been watching film and figure out if it's something we need to correct or something we need to just be stronger than mentally and, and keep pushing. Um, so it was frustrating. It, it was a hard weekend. Those are two hard teams. It's always a hard game. You know, bus into Central and then to SPU. But um, we're always learning. That's the great thing about this group is we're watching film together and we're figuring out um, what our next plan is and how we're, how we're getting better from, from any mistakes. What can fans expect when they uh, come out this week to see you guys play? Uh, lots of offense, stingy defense. Uh, we, I think the the big thing that I've noticed is 
the team has been very patient, taking advantage of their opportunities and, and playing very disciplined. Yeah, um, I hope you see all those things this weekend. Um, we're really focused on, like I said before, a complete game. You know, we need to finish the chances we get. We've been getting a lot of chances and um, we need to be finishing more of them. And, um, and then just the discipline from the back all the way to the front. Our girls know what we're playing for, and we know what we're capable of, and we've, you know, there's no better weekend than a home weekend to set it up and, and finish our goals. How important is it uh, to do well this week? I mean, uh, we've talked in the last couple seasons that you always are in that playoff hunt about this time of the year. How important are these three games that we've got coming up? Yeah, I try to get our girls to focus on you know, all that matters right now is Thursday's game. Um, as coaches, of course, we're, we're planning and thinking about every single game on our, our schedule. But um, for our girls, just really realizing that, like you said earlier, Billings is a team that um, is always in the top and um, always competes. And that, that's our focus right now is on Thursday. Um, if we can chip away one game at a time, then um, we'll have a good chance at the end of the year. Appreciate you joining us today, Coach. Thanks. Remember, fans, come out Thursday, 4 o'clock, against Montana State Billings. Chance to uh, move into the top four in the conference and make the playoffs. So come out and read on your Crusaders. Welcome back. We are joined by GNAC Defensive Player of the Week, Matty Farrell, who uh, had a huge week over in uh, Monmouth and uh, Portland. Uh, tell me about uh, the week. Uh, how nice was it to get two wins on the road? You know, this weekend was a pretty big weekend for us, and um, we headed into Concordia not really knowing what we were up against because they are new to our conference this year and stuff. So, you know, the whole match started out really strong. We had a little bit of a rocky uh, third and fourth game, but the fifth game we ended up pulling out the win, and it was honestly the one like the most intense and fun match that I've ever been a part of. And then on Saturday, Western Oregon, you know, it was just a nice kind of game to have to finish up and cap off the weekend. But I couldn't be prouder of my team and the coaches. It was just overall really good. The the match on Friday night, getting that five set win. How important was it for this team? Because you've been in some five set matches against top twenty five teams and not able to close them out. Yeah, especially after um, last weekend against Western Washington, that was a pretty devastating loss. So I think um, being mentally prepared for that fifth set, it's more of a mental um, fatigue than anything. You just kind of have to go into that fifth game focus, and it could be anyone's game when you are starting to get the ball rolling and everything. But I think that we knew that we weren't going to lose, and we weren't going to allow that to be the result. So I think just overall we pushed through to the end and we didn't let up one second in that fifth game. Let's talk about the blocking Friday night. <laughs> I mean, you guys are a great blocking team, but I mean, holy cow, <laughs> 18 blocks, you had 11. Uh, that had to be kind of a fun night. You know, it was. It was. It's definitely, I mean, I got to give it to our practice schedule from the week before. We've been in the gym two hours every day, and it's been a lot of defensive, like, structured around that. So. Um, for blocking, it's definitely something that you kind of have to find a rhythm with, and we are such a dynamic team when it comes to that, so I think that we just got the blocks we needed to get them, and it tremendously helped us get that win. Was it something that just clicked that night, or was it uh, was it just how you guys were reading the, uh, the opposing offense, or what was it that made that such a big night? Probably a little bit of both, you know, like I said, like finding the rhythm and finding it. We had never seen any of these hitters before, so I would just kind of find that adjustment. And with our scouting report, we kind of have to figure out where they hit due to like past matches and stuff. And I think just overall, it was more of just a total focus and a total um, drive to get that ball and to know that we weren't going to let up at all. 
Have you had a night like that before, 11 blocks? I can't think of a night like that, no, you know, and I, I couldn't be prouder of the whole team as a whole and everything, and I think that just the outcome was better than we could have expected, and I'm just so glad that that overall it was awesome, so. Let's talk about uh, the coming week. Alaska Anchorage coming in, they're unbeaten, they've beaten four top 25 teams, they've only lost two sets in GNAC play, uh, they look daunting. Yes, but um, so Anchorage, yeah, that's a team that definitely, like you said, it can be very an intimidating mindset to go into it just because they are so um, crisp right now in their season. And I think just um, keeping ourselves um, focused on who we are and what we can do and knowing that we can pull out that win no matter what, I think that's going to be our biggest thing. We have to have a solid week of practice. We have to go into that match on Thursday with the mindset that, you know, we, we can do it. And we have, we're on our home court again, so luckily our fans will all come out, and like our fans are amazing. So I think that if we utilize that energy and we just kind of contribute as a team and we work deal together, I know that we'll come out the win. Looking at the, the last match you guys had here, top 15 uh, team, Western Washington, they're 6-0 in conference, arguably equally as good as Alaska Anchorage. So. How do you get over that little hump against a really good team at home and maybe get a, a big win? Yeah, you know, I think with um, Western, it just came down to a few points that we should have won and we didn't. And um, for Anchorage, I think we've learned a lot since that Western match. And so I think that like what we've learned in the past week and a half or so, we're going to be able to really contribute to that Anchorage match. And hopefully we can execute it all the way through no matter what and we won't let up. So we'll see. But I'm excited for it. I know a lot of fans are hoping that this is a national tournament team again. Is this the drive? Do you guys start making your drive to a, uh, maybe a conference title and another national berth at this point in the season? 100%. Yeah, we haven't overlooked anything due to preseason or due to our first couple of conference games. We haven't let that set us back at all. We know what we're capable of. I think it just kind of comes down to finishing the season strong and just kind of learning from the past, but definitely not letting it affect our future at all. Fans, we invite you to come out. The ladies are home. Only their third and fourth matches of the year at home. So come out, get crazy, fill the stands as they take on number eight, Alaska Anchorage, Thursday night at 7, and then Saturday, University of Alaska at 7 o'clock again. Maddie, congratulations on a great week, and Thank good you. luck this week. Thank you.